Hey guys, it's Augman, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, I know last time I left you off with a uh, uncertainty as to what I'd be doing, so I decided. First thing we're going to start off by doing is... I need to copy one of these. Copy the settings. Uh, we're going to... Switch that to there. We're going to get rid of the upgrade thing because there's no alternate recipe or anything. So, the one we made is the one we're going to get. Then we're going to get rid of this. This will be changed to something else, I'm not sure yet. But, for today, what I decided to do was the steel beam factory. So I decided that because the traffic jam over here keeps happening and I'm getting annoyed with it. So I already actually um, I switched the temporary one into a temporary uh, actually I can switch that now too. It's a, I just made a temporary uh, aluminum casing factory out of the old temporary steel beam factory. So I'll switch that to upgrade. <coughs> Still got a bit of a cough from being sick, but I'm fine. So we're going to do a uh, steel beam factory. So what I need to do now... Yes, it is night again. Like I said, I keep saying, this games love to turn tonight right as I'm uh, about to record. So, there's no alternate recipe for, for steel beam, so what I have is what I get. So it's going to be 60 to 15. Okay. So that means, what does that mean? We're going to be limited by the inputs, 780, so math time, so 780 divided by 60, so I need something to write on actually. So that means it's going to be 13 per side, so 26 rows, 26 of them. And, because I'm going to do four trains long, each have two inputs, which is eight. So eight times 26. So 208 is the amount of... What is it, constructors? Get out of this. 208 constructors. Not that. So we need... 208 constructors, which means we're going to go queue up 208 of these. Uh, so what I did is I made a little offshoot <coughs> for my train while I'm loading supplies. So, because the next thing we're going to do is the hub upgrade. Oh, it's like pretty bad. Cause that needs to be done. But uh So what I did already in preparation, like I said I switched over the old steel beam factory to uh to it's aluminum casings now. Oh my god, this is like that's why we need to get out of this area too. So it's aluminum casings, and then I also Oh wait, that's something else I gotta do. Let's come in here. I gotta figure out which... It's this one. Get rid of this. So it changes. Because I don't want it bringing 
any aluminum cases that I, casings that I make because there's no spots. We're just gonna we just go and get uh, sunk right away. So what we're gonna do? I have a I ran the cable, the power cable out to the area. Um, it's gonna be over by the steel. I don't know what that area is called. Like desert area by the steel uh, factory. That's where I'm gonna build it. I think we need two trains worth of uh, supplies. And I think I have an idea as far as a layout. As far as what I want to do. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so I decided on this because the traffic jam it keeps causing is uh, too much of an issue. But the next, next upgrade is the hub. For sure. But uh, I'm going to finish loading this. And then i got to get the supplies for the train stations and supplies to build the building. But so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Alright guys, and we're back in the desert. So I got my train off the rail there onto this little temporary one. This is actually the... Excuse me. <coughs> the steel beam train. I took it uh, took it out to here and took it apart so that... Because there was basically nowhere I could sit. Oh, I don't want to look at that thing. But so this is where I'm thinking about doing it for no real particular reason. But we need to get started on this. Clock's ticking. I got things to do. Like build factories. So let's grab a whole bunch of concrete. So I, th I think I want the... Shouldn't be too, too big. So I think I can get away with, which will be famous last words, of course. Looks like it's in line with that. Uh, that's how I want it. So I think I'll be able to get away with just doing something like this. Now we're gonna go that way. So I need to, this is gonna be the middle. That's important. <coughs> because of the way I'm thinking of designing this. Do I want to do... No, I'm going to do... You're seeing designing on the fly right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I was... <coughs> I was perfectly fine for the longest time and then I start recording and I start coughing again. So that has to go five. And this has to go five. And I think that's as big as we need to make the uh <coughs> the input. Yeah, for now. Yeah, so next thing. I need is the what I need is to get clear this basically clear that transport go clear that so what I'm kind of thinking for this one because it is the beam factory okay I need to clear some inventory while I'm working it is the beam factory to make it uh, longer and thinner. So I'm good. So I have an idea. And it's so funny too that like, nope, oh, nope, oh, need the heavies. So I, I notice I'm uh, building in all like the different starting zones. What I was gonna say. 
of those. <coughs> I keep going out of range for this to work. So just... There. I want to say it's six, if I remember correctly. But let's just be sure. Six brings me to where I need to be. Six. I actually don't even need this here. So let's fly back. Get rid of motors, computers, that. Wire and concrete's not a big deal. <coughs> oh my god. Okay. We're gonna see if we can do this. Uh huh. I, I just uh, thought of how I can do this uh, in a decent way. Let's go out. Ten. So now we're gonna come here. It's fine if I'm hovering. Logistics. Conveyor inputs. eight of these. So this is our our output. Now let's math this. So I'm gonna have thirteen on each line, each making fifteen a minute. So one ninety five is what my output's gonna be. Which means if we go to our conveyors Mark three belts. And I know I have the Mark five belts, but that's with Mark five belts bringing the steel beams in. So that's that. Okay. So the next thing. This is just so I can float. Wow, this is... You know, I wasn't planning on using these on uh, this hover pack, man. Oh, like I always say, but like things I should have done earlier. Man, I should have done this hover pack earlier, because holy cow, is it useful. So, production. So, say I want to have the first one. I think there is good. So, we're going to go uh, merger. Now, do I want these right next to each other? I definitely want them like in the way. Like that. Do I want them on? I do kind of like the way these uh, fit together. So we're, we're going to do it's 11 more. Which is fine. It's fine that I uh, lost the power. This actually should be... You know, I thought this was going to take a while to put up. I don't think it's going to take too long, actually. Which... Famous last words. Wow, this is good. This is actually perfect, the way... I, I want this to be... I said long and thin. Because it kind of goes with the... Motif of thing being made. So I'm going to have this out. Another one there. I don't know if you can hear it through there, but this is the sound of my brain working. Because we're going to go like that. And then one like that. 
this is where we're going to put our stairs and stuff. Let me see. Does this go past? It does a little. It'll kind of look like uh, how the aluminum one was a little off. This is only temporary, so I don't mind it uh, being in the way at the moment. This is just so I can hover around. Man, this goes far. Okay. This one is going to be merger like that. So then we can have uh, another 12. This line. I hope it's kind of becoming obvious on how we're going to do this. so funny too that I'm making a... Uh oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow! A little better. Oh no, I'm so far away. What I was gonna say is it's funny how I'm making uh... stuff to make steel beams like I don't have reinforced iron plates or cables or anything. I have the, t the temporary ones, but I don't have like the major factories built. <coughs> and so we'll have the four lines on this level, and then above it, another four lines. So this is going to be a long, thin factory. But what's nice is that I'm doing it out here. You know, that's why I'm... I'm going far out to... to put these so that... You know, I can have these weird shaped uh, factories and I don't have to worry about, like, other, uh... Like how it's going to fit around other stuff. So hopefully to it, uh... Whatchamacallit. Actually, this is going to look like a weird... I just had an idea. I may tr This thing looks like a square. I may try to make the whole building just look like a giant beam. That may be the design style for the building. Gotta run back and get cables. But that'll have to be the next, uh, you know, the next one. Because what I'm going to do... It's a little bit of mass, too. So I have six outputs. Not six. Twelve outputs. Going into eight lines. So the way... We're going to make that work out. I'm just taking a bunch so I don't have to... So the way we're going to make that work out is... Um, one and a half... One and a half outputs to each line. Which again, I know it's... There's better ways to optimize it. That's what I'm struggling to say a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I, because I, what I, so what I could do, each of these are 13, so I could make each of these lines, well, it would be, what, 19 and a half, so say 20. Again, I, I'm hesitant to, like, go super crazy with the, uh, efficiency stuff on this cuz it's just going to be so much okay so now this one I think I'm gonna... yeah do it there 1 2 3 Do it that way. So, so this has to be twelve. Yeah. So how we're gonna do it is yeah. So I can actually show you live on camera how we're, I'm planning on doing this. So we're going to go wonder if this will fit. Oh, I keep getting quiet. Oh, I'm out of range. Not a problem. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, let's see. If I turn this. Ah, wrong buttons. Let me go to here. I know how I can do this. I think. So I'm splitting that there. Okay. Yeah, I keep getting quiet, I know. Okay. I see how we're doing this. We're gonna go seven. We're gonna go. Make a merger here. Merger here. And a splitter. A regular splitter. Regular splitter. Here. That doesn't really work. So you get to see... So, so this is going to be overlapping a little bit, but I don't care too much. Actually, I can do that. Bring the splitter out here. Here. Now we're gonna go that one there, that one there, that one there, and that across there, and that across there. So I think I'm gonna extend this out another one. Foundations, so this will be this end. Yeah, so that's how we're going to do that, because then what we're going to do is, on this side, so that'll be the first row, and then this, will 
feed this row. This will run there, and that'll be for the far constructors, and this will be for the close constructors. If we're doing steel beams, I only need on this side, I only need that, and I think I only need a I only need level ones too on that side. So that is the way this is going to look. And then Right, is that how I'm doing it? Yes. And we'll have a mirror on this side, because then the, the interior ones are going to go up to the second floor. So this will be two floors high of, like, these, uh, the setup. So, when I get back, <coughs> it should be pretty fast, actually. So I'm going to try to knock this out pretty fast on my end. You guys will take two, you know, however long it takes to fade. But on my end, I'm going to try to do this fast. So I will see everyone in a second. Alright guys, then we're back. So I finished the steel beam factory. As you can see, that's the uh, intersection there. <coughs> you know, I haven't been coughing the entire time, and now... Well, the entire time I was building it, and now I'm going to start, because I'm talking, of course. Anyway, so we got our rail stations. This is the input. And that's the output. So then we come up to, to each floor. There's just one big row. So this is actually four different lines. And each one gets fed into a... So half... Basically one side gets fed into each one of these. So I got two floors of it. And then I got the you know, the roof up here, like usual. Um, so I also already have, uh, I think I got a load of steel delivered already. Yeah, you can see because it's 950 beams, was it 1208, you know, 1351. So I'm just going to wait for more. Oh, here we go. I don't know if we stop in here, though. Let's see. Let's see if he's going to stop here and I can show this off. Really nice. And... Nope. It's going to drop off at the pipes. That's okay. But yeah, so... The plan is... I'm going to put a walkway up here. Then, you know, walkway around here. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to do the walkways yet. But, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. But, so... We're ready for the next uh, step of this, which is putting the exterior on it. Which... Let's go up to the top here. I'm not going to look over there, because it'll do that stupid audio uh, thing. But, so, the next episode... I got to run over to uh, the Northern Spire. Is that what it is? Spire Coast, that's it. The Spire Coast. And I got to pull up the temporary plastic factory I made. What was it? Three, four episodes ago. Because I'm recording this on the, <coughs> the weekend before the update. They just announced that it's going to be out Tuesday, and today is Saturday. So I got to go pull that up, which will be the next episode. Will be half of it will be pulling the temporary plastic up. Half of it will be uh, looking around at the new update. It's funny too because they uh, they said early this month, then they didn't put out any videos. And then they put this one out, oh, like new creatures. I'm like, okay, I guess they're still fixing it. And they're like, oh, by the way, it's in, what, four days? So I know, they, uh, I know they've been warning people about getting your stuff out, but I was waiting for a uh, release date, and now I have it. So that's where it's going to be. That's what's going to be next. We'll explore a little bit, see what the... Uh, <coughs> 
the new uh, area looks like. And then, yeah, then we'll get back uh, and make this look like an actual place, not just floors of machines. But for now, that is where I'm going to leave you guys, and I will see everyone later. Fly out a little bit.